Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to call a REST API in your Drupal site. So for that we will write a code to call the external APIs. So I am assuming that you know what is the API and uh, what is the purpose of the APIs. So for that uh, first we will create the one controller and uh, in that controller we will call the that, uh, API. So in the last video I already sh show you how to create the controller and how to create the custom model. So here the hello world model is already installed in my website so I am using the same model. And uh, before that I will show you uh, I just search for the free APIs for the testing and I got this result. If I go to this website it will show some facts and uh, now I want to show these facts on my website so how can I show this, uh, this data from the this external website third party website so for that first I will create one controller in the controller folder and my controller name is API controller dot php and uh, in this file we will start with the php opening tag then enter the namespace a your module name and the controller so first we need to uh, include some ex classes from the Drupal so for that we will include first the con controller base use Drupal code slash uh, controller base Next, we will include the uh, Symphony component for the JSON response. So, we will write the use Symphony component HTTP foundation. JSON response and next is the Drupal component serialization JSON I will create the class class name should be similar to your uh, file name api controller extends controller base uh, in this uh, class I will create one function Gate facts. We will name the function as a gate facts. <coughs> and uh, now, in this uh, method, we will write the. We will call the uh, Drupal HTTP client. So for that, I will create one variable. Client equal to Drupal. HTTP client uh, 
now we will request to that API for that create the one more variable request equal to dollar client so here the gate is the method now we are calling that API is in the gate method okay. and inside uh, this we need to add the URL of that API we'll add this URL create one more variable to get the response dollar response equal to dollar request get body and uh, get contents Now we will you, we will get the response from this API in the JSON format. First, we will dec decode that JSON in one variable. That is the result equal to JSON decode dollar response. I will print the response echo. result is it so now, now the function our function is ready to call this API okay. now we will create one route uh, route file for this like routing for this for that we will go to the this uh, hello world dot routing dot yaml file and uh, I will copy the same thing to save our timing. Uh, I already explained about this routing in the last video. So I will do some changes like get back uh, URL will be get get facts controller my controller name is the api controller let's check the uh, video to get the more information or understanding about this file the video name is the uh, create the custom model in a drupal so in the api controller i have created one method we need to add the method name here title be cat facts save this file clear the cache cache rebuild is completed now we will go to the that url and uh, open this url in your website like this you will get the result like uh, this is the one fact and if i refresh it again it will show the different result so like this way we can call the rest apis in a drupal so I will explain this first we have included these uh, controller based JSON response and the JSON serialization and uh, then we have created one class in the class created one function and set function I call the this HTTP client and uh, in this 
in this uh, request variable uh, I, I added the URL and here I mentioned the method name is as a get and uh, so you will get the response in the response variable and uh, we have decoded the JSON and uh, at the end we have printed the result so that's that's it from this video please like the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you